Hi, white scholars, and welcome to Arts and Crafts with Miss J. In today's lesson, we will be making magic wands. So cool, right? Before we begin, have you seen a magic wand before? Do you know what it is? Well, a magic wand is a long, thin rod that is held with one hand and is traditionally made of wood, but may also be made of other materials such as metal or plastic. Who uses wands? Magicians, witches, wizards, and fairies use magic wands when they are performing magic and tricks. Before we begin, what are the materials we need? One, construction paper or computer paper, two pieces or more. Two, markers, crayons, or colored pencils. Three, scissors. Four, glue. Five, clear tape. And six, yarn, cloth, or ribbon. It's optional. Let us begin. So, you're gonna take one sheet of paper as the stick. You're going to make sure that it's facing you and you're gonna to begin to roll it upward. So roll it. You wanna make it as tight as possible. As you can see, mine is not neat. So I'm just gonna pat it down, pat it down. And there you have it, your roll. You can use glue or tape to tape the side, this side down. Three pieces of tape should be enough. So one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. Perfect. You're gonna put this to the side, and you're gonna get your other piece of paper to use as a top piece for your wand. The next sheet of paper, you're gonna fold it in half, And you're gonna make sure that the flap is facing towards you. You can use any type of object, such as a round object to make a circle shape or a square object. You can even make a star or a heart. Ms. J is going to make a heart. You're going to use your scissors to cut out your shape. Now, as you can see, I do have marker on the shape, so I'm just gonna Flip them over so you can't see the marker. Next, you want to make sure you have your ribbon or your cloth or your yarn in front of you. I have four pieces, so you can use as many pieces as you would like. And you're going to open your heart and place some yarn, cloth, or ribbon on this side and then the others on this side. So you're going to use glue tape however you would like to do it. I'm going to use tape. Just 
just to make sure it's secure. And remember you're only doing this on one shape so your other shape should be on the side next you're going to add glue to the other area of the heart or shape that you have make sure you get all the area of the shape. And then you're going to put the two shapes together. Make sure it's lined up. Awesome. But notice how I did not take my glue and go all the way down. This area has to be open so that you can put your wand inside, your roll inside, okay? So just press it down, press it down. And then my wand is kind of thick, but if you have a smaller wand, it should be easier for you to put inside the shape. So my, my wand is kind of thick, so I'm gonna add tape to the sides. So I'm going to make sure the ribbon is not in the way and I'm going to add tape to the side. Well, my ribbon is still flowing. And there you have it, your magical wand. You can use markers, crayons, or colored pencils to decorate your wand however you desire. And here's Miss J's completed project. An awesome magic wand. If you had one, what would you use it for? Well, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.